Well, as small businesses struggle and unemployment remains at a 25-year high, we are clearly still in the depths of a recession. So why are some big corporations taking trips on private planes, getting massive bonuses, and I mean massive? Is Wall Street back to its old ways again? Let's bring in financial analyst and author of Getting Good Jobs in Tough Times, Uri Mann. Thank you so much for talking to us. Hi, Joe. AIG is a perfect Hi, Julie, example. Hi, how are you? Thanks. Uh, yeah, great to have you on. AIG is a perfect example of why so many Americans are so outraged. Because this week, coming up, 40 of its high-ranking corporate officers who contributed to the company's downfall are going to be receiving millions of dollars in bonuses. Is this really 2007 again, and is it going to lead to another 2008-09? You know, I, I don't think so. It's not. I mean, we really need to stop demonizing Wall Street. As far as I'm concerned, this is still an economic, you know, a capitalist society. And really, these companies need to have the ability to compensate their people. I mean, tomorrow, Julie, CNN could call you and offer you more money to go to that company, and Fox News could decide to, to increase your salary. This is the same story. I mean, these firms need to be able to compensate their employees. Um, you bring up the AIG example. You know, I like that one because it created a tremendous amount of distrust. Uh, Goldman Sachs uh, benefited substantially from AIG because the AIG was their counterparty. So millions of dollars that went to AIG, you know, to save AIG actually ended up in the hands of, of Goldman Sachs. So it, the whole system, there's a lot of distrust about what's happened uh, in the past, and people are looking at these bonuses, and it makes their blood boil. All right. But the well, reality you know, is we, we can't, yeah. No, I'm just, I, Sorry. first of all, you know, unlike the executives, and, I, and I'm going to call him greedy because let's face it, I mean, Liddy, who's the chairman of AIG, made a deal back in September that they would delay, forego the bonuses until the spring. That's all fine and good, but they could have actually just turned him down the same way I would if I was offered some big salary from CNN because I like my job here. Thank you very much. And, and President Obama has appointed a compensation czar, Kenneth Feinberg, who's supposed to oversee the compensation of seven firms that receive these large federal bailouts, but he can do nothing because the bonuses were promised long before he took that position. So why didn't the White House think of this sooner? Why didn't they appoint a compensation czar sooner, prevent these bonuses from happening, and then maybe have this money somehow circulate into the American economy where it should belong? You know, I can't, I can't, uh, you know, exactly predict why they decided to do it, you know, later. But I can tell you that the real story here is that there are a few people who are getting compensation now, and that's what's in the news. You know, Wall Street is giving money to specific types of professionals. For example, fixed income professionals who are benefiting from a low interest environment. You know, you're seeing a lot of money going into stocks, uh, into um, into bonds, uh, junk bonds, and high yield bonds. So fixed income professionals are, are receiving money. So are, uh, you know, there've been these mega deals that have happened because of the government where you've seen underwriting of stock uh, for major companies the government said go out and raise money so the investment banks have benefited from underwriting those those types of stocks but you know overall the, the, the story here is you know in my opinion Wall Street needs to be able to compensate its people appropriately and the government needs to stay out of that okay so then uh, I guess why do you think people are so concerned about Wall Street bonuses anyhow other than the obvious you know, people think that, you know, when someone's being compensated, that something wrong is going on here. You know, Wall Street is continuously demonized because people think money is going to them and it's being sucked out of the economy. The reality is that I think in the next 12 to 24 months, we mm -hmm. are going to have a significant downturn, but it's not because of Wall Street. I mean, we have uh, re commercial real estate is about to fall off a cliff. I mean, if you look everywhere, everybody knows you go to a store, nobody's shopping, and uh, stores are closing, and sooner or later, these owners of shopping centers and developers are going to have to try to give their shopping centers back to the banks, mm -hmm. and we're going to be in the same situation. And, you know, there's other issues like you know the residential mortgages. You know, that's a huge issue that's going to have a, a, a down effect on the economy. We're going to see a recasting of interest rates right. over the next 12 months. Uh, you know, so that's you know those are those are the things that are really going to affect the economy. Way to be a Debbie Downer, Uri. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Sorry, uh, sorry Julie. Nice to see you. I know. Though. Hey, it's reality. By, by the way, by the way, it's my. Julie, by the way, it's my little brother's birthday day, so I am wishing him a big bonus this year. Oh, that, that. okay. Well, ha it's my birthday, too, so no, I'm only kidding. Well, happy oh, birthday oh. to your brother, and uh, Uri, man, thank you very much for talking to us. That's the best news Uri came up with. <laughs> I you know. put it out there that you're not going to CNN. Glad to have you here. Yeah, no, hey. <laughs> Keep it here. Glad to be aboard. All right, we've got a countdown to liftoff going on right now. Live pictures from Cape Canaveral. Space Shuttle Endeavor is set to blast off into space in the next few hours. We are live from Cape Canaveral, straight ahead.
Geico is the third largest car insurance company in the nation. But it's not like we're kicking back now, having a cup of tea. Takes a lot of sweat to become that big. Of course, geckos don't literally sweat. It's just not our thing.